So again, you know, as we journey out here to do what we naturally do on the weekends to meet everybody and say hello, we're now in Coney Island at Surfside Houses so that I can meet with the tenant association leaders from all of the Coney Island housing developments to talk about what's happening with them and to recommit myself to saying to them, once I'm public advocate, they're gonna have a voice inside City Hall. What do you think about Schumer's deal to come into housing? Well, I think, I think leadership should be at that table with him talking about that 40 billion. And then that way you can give him the direction on how the money should be spent. Yeah, my opponent hasn't come into the housing development since he's been in office to have the conversation about what he should do to give you the empowerment that you need. But see, that's the job of the public advocate. The public advocate is supposed to take a position with the public, with the people. You, if this is what the people are saying, then the public advocate has a position to stand up there and make sure what you're feeling and what you want to see done is done. And I'm happy to make this announcement that I'm officially endorsed by local 237 Teamsters, which basically gives our campaign another boost. So I want to thank their president, uh, Gregory Floyd, and all the members of school safety officers and those who live in public housing. Thank you for your confidence in the fact that we're going to run a campaign that's worth respect of those that work in public housing, those that work in our school system, and showing our school safety officers that we respect them and the great work that they do. We shall all be free. Almost, not because you wear the uniform, but you're New Yorkers. And they have to respect that, you know, first and foremost, as human beings. So my whole position right now is just to go after them, make sure they understand we need our cops on the street, we need our police officers in the subways, we need our officers in public housing, we need our officers wherever we can have them. And my position as, as a pro-safety, um, common sense candidate is to make sure they get that memo and that message and to deliver that back to the community, whether it be the African-American community, Latino, or the Asian community, they need to understand our brothers, sisters, mothers, and friends are wearing this uniform, and we've got to protect you the same way you protect us. And that's all I wanted to come and say. As we get ready to close out the, today's portion of the tour, the 12-hour tour today is the 12-hour tour tomorrow, 12-hour tour on Sunday. But we close it out right here in the Bronx by this awesome venue and support of the, of the nightlife and of our restaurant tours and those small businesses as well.